Welcome guys, it's Josh again. I'm also doing this while I'm on Twitch as well. You can see it in the chat, it's all right. Okay, so I stream on Twitch. Okay, so basically we're doing Fairy's Friend, the uh, thingo. So I put my Bifrost as the quest giver for the one time that I may not be the quest giver. But basically what you want to do is this for Fairy's Friend is that some people get lost in this forest and I don't blame you. I mean, look at this forest. Like, you know, there's so many half passages that could be a passage but isn't. But here you go with the passage that is, okay? So basically, as you can see here, my guy's just navigating through. So just look at the passage as I move along. And this is the way to get to the top one. We're trying to get to the top number three, okay? So basically do, you know, follow this path. I'm only doing, I'm doing it completely blind with the map up. So you guys can see which paths you should go through to get to the next area, okay? And all the other paths, like this one here, this one here... And this one here, you can't access, you can't go through. There's like a small gap in between it that you can't jump over. And it's a bait, okay? So you want to go like this through here. And then pick this one up. They say you'll be blessed. And, and this is the one where you don't have to do any rafts. You don't have to use the rafts whatsoever to do this one, okay? So as you can see here, now we down here. Um, If you haven't got some of the dudes, like the named mob here. You can just pick it up here with the named leopard. So this guy has the name Leopard Hunter for the uh, Adventurous Tome. So if you haven't picked it up, you can pick it up here. I've already picked it up, so yeah. Did that guy... S wow. I think that guy stole the... Uh, sunflower energy off me. Wow. That is... I've actually never had someone do that before. Were they just... Or was, was I just seeing things when he was here? Maybe I was just seeing things. Yeah, maybe I was. Basically, it the sunflower the sunflower is a little plant that's around here. And sorry, I thought someone stole it off me. Wow. This is the first time I've actually not seen it here. But generally it's here, okay. This is so strange. Okay, so if it isn't here, you go to the lower one, okay? So I did a full circuit twice just in case it was just me. Now, to without using the Rasp, what you can do as well, you can go... Um, I believe you go like this. You want to zoom in as well if you're not sure. If they don't connect, you may want to zoom in. I believe they all connect downwards as well. Yep, they do. Very interesting one, actually. I'm actually, you know, usually there's four spawns there, and the fact there's none of them there is... I I'm, I'm bewildered, okay? I am just befuddled, okay? I can't believe it. So anyways, basically you can move down like this, and if you find one, you find one, pick it up. Also, if you haven't got the leopard here either, if you haven't got the leopard here either, you can get another adventurous time for the leopard. So simply put, you just have to collect the star flowers light. And basically all you have to do is follow the path back up. However, you're going to do a different little path here to get to the hand in. So this is to make sure you don't use any rafts or anything like that. Because waiting for rafts takes a long time. Alternatively, what you can do as well, you can just sail to North Fern. And then basically port up to here. Because you can also make the trail up here to get to the zone. But I prefer Bifrost to it and then walk your way back because you can have to walk your way back anyway. Alternatively, you can use the Bifrost after you finish the quest. I'm not sure which is quicker. It really, really, really depends. I feel like the second Bifrost and second will be quicker. But also at the same time, you've got to get to North Fern and that takes a bit of extra time as well. So you prefer I prefer the Bifrost to the quest giver to make it a bit easier. Or even not even Bifrost to the quest giver, just Bifrost to the area where it should be as well. So basically, if you don't know where to hop up to get to the quest giver, since you can, there's only one way down and one way up, there is a cliff around here that you can hop up on. And that takes you all the way to the ferry. I believe it is this one. And before it isn't. Okay, if it isn't, I am having a very, very bad day, but I'm very sure it is. So you hop on this cliff. So basically, it may not seem that the paths connect. But the paths do connect. You go under the uh, over what, uh, the road. There's also a forest road as well if you can get onto it. You just go under here. I'm scared. 
And then that's mission completed, basically. Now, the next one... Now, anyways, basically, that's going to be pretty much it with Fairy's Friend. Hope you guys enjoyed the guide, even though we went off track. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Like, comment, subscribe. And hopefully, your Fairy Friends grow a bit quicker. And also, main, remember, the main reason for doing these quests here, this, these Una 1, is mainly for the Virtues. So make sure you pick those up as well. Have a great day, guys.